Welcome to Life Photo TV. Now, I'm betting you're wondering, you just got done with summer, you have all these photos from vacation. What do you do with them? Well, the best way is to create a calendar on lifephoto.com. There's no better way to relive your vacation than every month seeing a new photo and just laughing with your family or just having pure happiness seeing something you did together. To start, we're going to go to Shop by Lifestyle and select Vacation. Now when we get to the Vacation page, you're going to notice a bunch of different products that you can create with using your vacation photos. You can create photo prints, wall calendars, playing cards, posters, photo books, and day planners. We're going to concentrate on the wall calendar right now, so we're going to select the icon to create. On the next page is where we get to customize our calendar. So on Quick Start, you get to select which month you want to start with. You can start it right away in September or October, or you can wait till the new year of 2012. So we're going to select January 2012, and then you also get to pick 12 months. And then, if you want, you can choose the size of your calendar. Now you can do a mini, which is 6 inch by 4.4 inches, or a standard that's 11 inch by 8 inch. I'm going to create a mini calendar this time. Alright, and now you get to select your photo options. So we're going to go to our photo folders, or you can even upload photos too. So let's go to photo folders. And I have one already prepared, and we're going to select the vacation. All right, now we have selected our photos, so we can go to add a background. Now, if you have an image already, you can select from your own images, or you can even go to the stock background of Life Photo. Now, you can choose from different holidays, birthdays, Christmas. Let's go down, and we're going to select summer. I'm going to select a picture of the beach. Now, you can also select if you want the pages to be full blood portrait, landscape, or panoramic. We're going to go with landscape just so we can see some of our background. Now you can have us automatically place the photos in for you or you can do it manually yourself. I'm going to select automatic and then you also can pick a border color for your photos. I'm going to go with none but you can play around see what you like. The next step is to add a message on different dates. Now let's say your birthday is August 7th 2012 and you're gonna go Helen's birthday and all you have to do is add to the list below you can even add December 25th 2012 Christmas and also you get to select the color of your text so you can choose from a variety of colors we're gonna go with blue and after we have finished that we're gonna preview our calendar alright now we have our calendar first I want to switch the cover photo so we're gonna select cover and I want to take this one right here and make that the cover and also at the end of our calendar it looks like we're missing a photo so I just selected December 12th oh and here's a mistake I just made so this will help you guys out too I selected the last December 12th but you actually have to pick the first December 12th that will get you right to your photo area and now you'll be able to drag your photo over so we're gonna go back to the cover and now we're gonna add some text below you get to select the font the size and also the color I'm gonna stick with blue and hit done editing very nice now if your background seems like it's overpowering the picture you can select it and you can go into photo opacity and you can bring it down a little so it's not as overbearing for the photo and there you go and then we're gonna hit done editing now if you like that better for all the photos you can actually go into your January 12th and do the exact same thing and all I'm doing is just selecting the background clicking on it and then the options will appear so I'm gonna hit done editing we're gonna leave that alone now if you're not sure which one is which for the photos, you can always say done editing, which will take you back to the preview page and you can easily scroll and see which pictures are which and if you need to edit any of them. And I think there was just one I wanted to edit, this one. And you can actually see the photo and we're going to select the orange icon. All right, and now we're going to click the photo. What we're going to do is make it bigger and drag it upward. There we go. Now I also want to rotate the image. Let's do that. And we're going to hit done editing. All right, now that we finished our calendar, we can go to done editing. This is where we get to share our calendar, buy our calendar, play our calendar, save our calendar, and 
edit our calendar. Thanks for joining us for another Life Photo episode.